Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, hello and welcome back to Satisfactory. I'm Computer, and last week I realized there's a problem with these freight platforms and the way I have designed this system here, where, just as it comes in here, look at that line. Any second now. And there we go. When this freight platform, or well, all of the platforms, um, yeah, when they um, start to actually do work, they stop the flow. Momentarily, yes, but it's still a bit of a problem, especially with the quick wire, which I need a lot of. So, well, the simplest solution to this is simply to go into organization and create like a industrial storage buffer in between the these actual belts and the platforms. So let's do that. And that was fairly painless, honestly. Moving everything basically two steps up and not really having a problem with, uh, well, this being in the way. Yeah, it works pretty well. Whoa. This looks kind of cool, actually. Not gonna lie. And I'm very happy, happy that it's not, well, not a lot, intersecting with the glass as well. Perfect height. Anyway, yes. Um, seems to be working pretty good. However, I am concerned with it just being one belt. You see... Let's see, where are you? Getting this way, I don't want to get run over. I still haven't tested the theory about whether or not you can die from it, running you over. But yeah. Standing on a freight car as it's being loaded will kill you. And anyway, I'm using the Ikaterium ingots now to turn them into a ton of, thanks, copper wire. And as you can see, it's not being utilized a lot down below. In fact, I am thinking... I, I love the jetpack. There we go. I am thinking of just making it go all the way down here and then terminate at this line eventually but I do want more constructors of cable alternatively I can overclock them maybe potentially because um, let's see 30 times 6 180 is not all that much the other problem down here is this. 10. Uh, I'm making 60 of my copper sheets per minute, and that's very much not enough. So I'm thinking probably I'm going to turn these into turning, like, making copper sheets instead. And then combine those. And um, not really sure what I'm going to do with the cables. Maybe if I have room upstairs somewhere, I can add some more. I don't know. It's a problem, but um, not an insurmountable problem, I don't think. What else do we have? Oh, well, yeah, let's go upstairs. Yeah, quick wire is a major problem here. I mean, that needs 50, 56, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 56 per minute. Uh, oh, times three. So 150, 160 something. 68. And this needs 28. Hopefully these need 30. Yeah. Well, 
also there's six of these and there's three of these so yeah there's a heavy bias towards this section and i'm also halving uh the belt i do have like the one belt i have is going all right this is the old system never mind it's going in here and i have stuff up there that also needs quick wire and i think it's about 50 or 100 something like that per minute so yeah uh, this one belt is definitely not enough thankfully as i believe i alluded to last episode uh, yeah this one is completely free it's not being used by anything so i'm thinking i am going to take the no, let's go over here oh of course you're in the way I have an industrial storage container there with uh, two outputs of quick wire. So if I hook up both of those quick wire belts, oh, hello, have a safe journey into here, and then somehow, probably on this floor. Or the one below, maybe? Or above? I don't know. Anyway, uh, on one of these floors, I get the extra belt in here, and then over there, and into the empty spot that I have over here somewhere. Right, this one. So I get it in here, up, and then I can merge the two quick wire lines. I have, I have one there in the next floor. And because this gets uh, split in the next floor immediately, I can just like merge them after that meaning hmm yeah i'll always have a full belt going up to the next floor maybe uh two and a half maybe something like that actually it's even better if i split this wow oh, save point good if i split the new belt as well and turn half of it to the assemblers I had over there, and then the other half to the manufacturers. I think that would be a good idea, maybe. Yeah, so half goes into here, and maybe here as well at the same time, and then the other half goes there. Yeah. However, that does mean I have to redo all of this because I can't break this out here because this is in the way and I can't break that out on the other side or anything. So I'm going to have to redo all of this in the new style that I have up uh, on the second floor here. Or I don't know how many floors I actually have at this point. It's something like 15 maybe. Yeah, using this method instead which is a little bit more spacious maybe, but also a lot easier to maintain. Especially if you're lucky like I was here, where four belts are just going into the first manufacturer here, and those four belts are that one, that one, and that one. And then I can just put the, the one that's... Wait, that's... Oh yeah, that's the sheets. I do need a lot more of those, yeah. Um, going over the others. However, biggest problem with the this floor here <clears throat> is these four belts here. It would have been a lot smarter of me to build the heavy modular frames over here instead. 
because everything else needs like plastic and quick wire and the new stuff rubber also there's one that uses cable i believe right yeah cable uh but yeah that's um I've, ever since I built the new system upstairs, I've been wanting to redo this, and this is a good opportunity to do so. Maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah, this took a lot of time to build, like, the better part of a day, actually. Not this bit, Not this was easy to just rearrange everything so I get two belts here, but that floor, uh, and we'll get to there. But first off, we have Caterium going where it used to, and then the quick wire goes in here. Had to re rearrange this belt down a little bit, and then just kind of fix everything. And turn the quick wire all the way over there. Also, I'm a little bit concerned with the occasional, like, small little break in the line here and there not entirely sure where that comes from maybe it's just me scrolling over and things getting loaded a little bit weirdly or things like that happening but yeah it's going up where it's supposed to go and whoop, that's not where i wanted to go See, I could not have um, integrated the two lines here. It would not have worked at all, because I can only make a, uh, the speed of 480 on the belt, so like merging them into there would have been useless. But here we go. Yeah. This... The biggest problem was, um, I kind of guessed that it would be, but it was uh, these ones over here. No, uh, the next ones, that over there, because they're all using fairly old equipment, like industrial I-beams, concrete, steel pipes, and modular frames. So yeah, I had to route two of them uh, up top here to the right, and then two of them to the left. Otherwise, the rest would not fit. And so it's not a perfect system. If I had, like, maybe a wall extra up top, maybe it would be a lot easier. But, as, as I mean, this works. And, yeah, we get quick wire coming there and there. And then they go up to the same level here and there and then we have a splitter on that one going that way splitter on this one going both that way and into a merger into the next floor which means i think we can see it here that the next floor gets and oh, i should probably fix that as well there we go yeah, next floor gets a full belt. And it also means that this gets half a belt, and that gets half a belt. And these then gets, you know, that one half belt. And it seems to be working pretty fine here, except the problem is circuit boards, which actually come from these guys. So, yeah. Uh, kind of slow actually and yeah the quick wire does run out eventually but wait what's uh what's going on here but the circuit boards are full There we go. Same thing seems to be happening here. Maybe not. No, this works. 
And this seems to be working as well. Good. Uh, yeah, so quick wire is definitely a problem. Uh, I could maybe utilize the normal computer. Screws would be a problem, except I could make steel screws. No, 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 no. The problem is still there, right there, and yeah. Uh, what are we making here? We are making, I believe... I was wrong. Yeah, I don't have silica, so that would be a non-starter immediately. But yeah... It's working, it's looking weird, but functional. And it's not taking up as much space as it used to. Actually, I could break these out here on the bottom floor, maybe. It could work. Ah, this works. This, this works and it will continue to work. I think. Maybe. We'll see. Now, what do I need to do next? Oh, stop that. What do we have on the second floor here? We have beacons, we have ammo, and supercomputers, I believe. We do indeed. And high speed connectors are the problem there. And the problem here is simply speed. Also, copper sheets on these ones over here, I think. Yeah. But as we see, the speed is pretty good for the quick wire, right? But these require how many? 20. Okay, well. Eventually, I think maybe these will get full on their own. Maybe. But again, like, the moment I build, oh, thank you for that, um, anything on the second or third or fourth floor above this that needs quick wire, the problem would immediately resurface again, where these would just get 50%, so 240 instead of 480, and that would be not enough. So yeah, huge future problem. So what else? Well, now, due to everything I've done these last however many episodes since I started with plastic, I can have some fun. We meet again. Right, for Cterium I will need there we go. Okay, I got that. And I'm gonna need 50 supercomputers and 50 heavy modular frames and more rubber. And then 50 more and then 50 more. Okay. So rubber, heavy modular frames, 100. And then 100 supercomputers. And that should be it. Ow. Well, that's almost all I have. That's great. Uh, heavy modular frames over here, I think. Am I not seeing them? Oh, yes, I'm not. There we go. And then some rubber. Yeah, just to keep. Six, eight, and eight. Okay. Let's see, Power Balls Mark Three completed. Thank you. Now, 
Here's a question. How do I actually unlock? Yeah, it's not there. Like, I want uh, wall outlets marked 2 and 3 as well. That would be very nice. But apparently not possible uh, in the base game. Probably possible with mods, though. Anyway, the next up is... Programmable Splitter, I believe. There we go for that. And another probably yeah, yeah, yeah. Not entirely sure what's the difference between smart splitter and programmable splitters yet. I figure I shall find out, but let's start with the next one. Finally. Geothermal generator is complete. No. Just as an as, uh, as an aside, I really think they should speed up this like counting and like yeah, because right now if I need to find where I'm missing something, it's take like what five, six, seven seconds to figure out if it's 100% or not. I believe this one is actually missing something, and that's crystal oscillators. I do have a couple of object scanners somewhere. And then quartz. A ton of it, too. Silica. Yeah. Also, where does... Is this where the buggy comes from now? It used to be one of the tiers, I believe. And now I think it might be in quartz. So that's going to be interesting. Anyway, caterium, done. Kind of. I mean, this part is done, but I need to shore up Quicksilver somehow later. Because, logically speaking, this cannot hold in the long run. Right. Because I'm taking out two belts worth of quick wire, and I'm only putting in one belt. And even though while the choo-choo is going around, and then back over to Huerta. That's like, what, five, six, seven minutes, maybe even ten, uh, which it will use to fill up. But again, I have the same amount of time in the opposite direction to drain the platform. So in the long run, it's probably not going to hold. Then again, like I believe I may have mentioned, uh, it's a pure node of Caterium over there. And I'm only using six, no, eight, because two of them are overclocked uh, constructors. And I think a pure node can support about 16 constructors, I think, maybe. So, yeah, either I can just overclock the ones I have over there, although that would be a waste of overclocking materials or slugs. Uh, yeah. That's still a pretty cool site, though. Anyway, what I want to do now is go get the... Oh, it's right there. Quartz. Yeah, right there. Is that really it? Is it actually a kilometer away? I thought it was uh, further up. Maybe it goes around. I don't know. Uh, and we have one quite close as well. Anyway, if I'm... 3,600. Yeah, that's a bit far away. Thank you for participating, though. Let's see, what do I want to take with me over there? I don't think... Well, I don't actually... Hmm, did I ever make one of... 
cast masks? No, because I only have like 50 fabrics. Something like that. So, new. Uh, anyway, I do believe I want a chainsaw. However... I do not have any ammo for it. I mean, yes. Let's take two stacks. Let's see what else do we want. Object scanner? No. Uh, Blade runners? No. Xenomasher? I mean, it doesn't take ammo. But... Yeah, if there are spitters, I don't want to get in close quarters. And I do have 50 Nobelisks, so that should be... This is a really bad idea, actually. Um, yeah. Well, kind of working. Hello. And there we go. All right, there's... Uh, I don't think the quartz is up here. Oh, and there's a lot of poison, so I'm not going to go there. Oh, yes. Mycelia. Forty-two. Okay, not mm, not great. Hello. Wait. Uh. Oh, there's one more. Oh, yeah. Actually, I probably was shooting your friend, too. So, whoop. How many? Um, how much? Um, uh, not a lot. Uh, might have to... Oh, hello. Um, yeah. That was not also a lot. Let's see where uh, I'm gonna assume for my own health that this green filter that popped up doesn't mean I'm about to die of poison. Oh, wait, um... Nope. Don't need it. You keep it. Fun to meet you, but no. How can, like, uh... How can this stalk stop me in my tracks? That's what I want to know. Oh, uh, some of you as well, or just one of you, actually. I can deal with that, unless it realizes I'm here immediately. Oh, and more quartz. That even less. Yeah, I kind of want more mycelia um, to create, let's see, more of these. Uh, is it in here? I think it is. Vague memory of this place. Yes. And if memory serves... Oh, bacon. Very nice. 
Let's see, there should be some guardians as well. Oh, there you are. Okay. Big one. Um, oh, and you're one of those spitters. You were one of those spitters. Unless you're faking it. No, you're not. Good. Moment. Interest. Even if they're dead, they have some kind of hitbox. Cute. Oh, and there's a... Mm. Just gonna have a save point. And then I'm gonna take this, and this is... I don't know. Wait, oh, whoa. Yes, you're dead. Good. All right. What else do we have here? Oh, interesting rocks. And a pure. And a pure. You know what I forgot to do before I left? Yeah. Yeah. Is that in special these days? No. No, no, no. It needs to be the equipment workshop, I believe. Uh huh. And the. Oh. Uh, minor two needs two, so I need four. And I can make 38. So there's that. Nice. Oh, and a purple one. Okay. Uh, let's build the things I can actually build first. In an east. There, and let's not use that, but this maybe? Well, no, this, actually. Oh, more bacon. Uh, I hope I'm not disturbing something ancient and deadly here. Physics, what are you doing? Uh, no, I mean, if there's something ancient and deadly in here, then I wanted have I wanted to have problems getting out. Oh, we have a purple one, and we have a load of poison. Can they get up over here? Oh no no no! That sound. Oh no! Ooh. Okay, spiders, and sounds like a lot of them. Can you guys uh, climb walls? No, you can probably jump, actually, now that I think about it. And there's a green one over there as well. And nope, you have company. Oh, and a green one there as well. Um. I'm going to go out of Because <coughs> that sound just makes my skin crawl. So I'm going to have to say goodbye. Do not follow me. Uh, I'll deal with you when I get better weapons. Or we can just like one shot you somehow. Can I make this uh, rock up appear again? Oh, and wow. That was an interesting clipping issue. Um, hmm. Do rocks respawn? Maybe? Because I just feel like I opened uh, Pandora's box and the first thing to leave was hope. Um, hmm. But yeah, uh, we have a bunch of bacon and stuff. Even some mycelia so I can make more inhalers.
Oh, right. Uh, yes, you. You're sulfur, aren't you? So, yes, looks like it. There we go. And more bacon over there as well. And sulfur and quartz. Ooh. But then again, now I actually have no power to them, so never mind. Uh, let's see, you're right over there. Maybe this was a bad idea. It was. There we go, and hello. And you're coming with me. Thank you. I won't process you immediately. Just know that it is on the way. It's in your... Wow, that's an interesting... Um, waterfall as well. Oh, and... I mean, I guess it's turning into, like, water vapor or something, but... Looks kind of weird, not gonna lie. Also, does that mean it's coming from somewhere again? And can I follow it to its source? Not gonna bother with that now because I have more important and pressing things to do. Let's go make... Yeah, sure. Can this work? Wow. That's a stretch. Also, I like that it kind of bends right there. Kind of weird, but... Mm. Then one of those. And then one of those. And so... And there's no clipping. Nice. And now I need to get that back to the base. Wait. I do not have enough iron rods for that. Not nearly enough. Let's see. These take two each and two plates and two concrete. Yeah. Um, I'm going to need a lot more. So... You know what? Never mind. There we go. I'm gonna end this video right here today. And then just kind of build this out until the next episode. And I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get this into the base. Honestly, because there's not a lot of room in most of the areas. And I'm going to need this to go all the way up. Unless I build something here. Like, let's see, constructor. It is constructors, right? It is not constructors. Unless I'm absolutely missing it. Uh-huh. Oh. Um. No. I think I know what the problem is. Um, in order to make crystals, I think I actually need to unlock it first in the map. So I need to bring a bunch of it with me. Um, to the base and unlock it in the map. And then I can build. And I'm thinking I should probably make, like, the tray of crystals, essentially, here, and then transport that. Hmm. Also, hmm. 240, if I overclock it to 200%, that's 480, so it is two belts. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
and I don't have all of the math with me on uh, how much, how many crystals that make. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do some thinking. And with that, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer, this has been Satisfactory, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.